Hey folks, it's Jim Hansen, and the elephant in the room today is Barack Obama fiddling while Iraq burns. Now, to be fair, he has taken some action. I mean, he's sending 300 of my former compatriots, advisors, over to Iraq to help the Iraqi army aggregate its fecal matter. But he's not even going to pay him danger pay as if the Islamist blitzkrieg thousands of corpses lining the street and the rest of it doesn't make it a combat zone? Now, you gotta remember, Barack is a war ender, not a war extender. Now it would be bad enough if we got completely blindsided by this, didn't see it coming, and now we're scrambling in the midst of a rapidly evolving situation to come up with a response. But that's not the case. As it turns out, we've known about this for a while and been working not particularly hard, with the Iraqis to try and do something to prevent it. We knew they'd bled over from Syria, we knew where their training camps were in the desert, and we knew they were already causing the Iraqis problems and likely to get worse. So you know what magnanimous gesture we made to help them out? One drone flight a month. You can't lead from much farther behind than that. Now you can question the wisdom of invading Iraq at all. And you can certainly point out that the post-war strategy was a complete debacle. That's on Bush and Rumsfeld. But the current crisis is a direct result of Obama's cut-and-run strategy of avoiding having any troops at all on the ground in Iraq. We left a vacuum, and that vacuum was inevitably filled by Islamist savages and the same Iranian troops who not too long ago were busy building and deploying the most deadly IEDs that killed our troops even in their up-armored vehicles. And you can't really blame the Iraqis for going to the Iranians for help. We bailed on them. We left them high and dry. We said, here you go, here's a republic. If you can keep it, good luck with that. I mean, I think Otter in Animal House said it best. You fucked up! You trusted us! So aside from the well-deserved blame game, what the hell are we actually going to do now? I mean, it's not like we're the strong horse in the region. The Iranians nuked us at the nuke negotiating table, and they've already sent more actual help to Iraq than we're ever going to. Vlad Putin and the chinless ophthalmologist in Syria body slammed us over Obama's mythical chemical weapons red line. So it must be time for an incredibly bad idea. Q. F. John Kerry. And look, we're open to discussions uh, if there's something constructive that can be contributed uh, by Iran. If I'll have some substantive ideas about how to actually move this forward and maybe make a bad thing slightly better over the next week or so. But the one thing we can be certain we should not do is turn this into a chance to become partners with the Iranians. Let's be perfectly clear. The enemy of my enemy, the friend of my enemy, the frenemy of my frenemy. Bottom line, the Iranians are our enemies. Don't ever forget that. This is Jim Hansen, and the elephant in the room, our fiddler on the White House roof, Barack Obama, needs some serious help making some gutsy calls about Iraq. Let's hope he gets it. And the men who hold high places must be the ones who start to mold a new reality closer to the heart.